the Nintendo Switch may be five years into its lifespan, it may have probably the best first party lineup for any Nintendo console, bar none. Probably a controversial thing to say, but hey, I stand by my choice. And it managed to surpass the lifetime sales of Nintendo's best selling home console, the Wii. That's a pretty big milestone, especially when you consider how both systems actually have more in common with each other than we could ever imagine. They both had outdated hardware, even back when they first released. They both had attractive selling points that caught the eye of so many gamers, and both finally have their own versions of Wii Sports to call their own. You have no idea what I went through the past five years. And as much as I adore the Nintendo Wii, yes, even now in 2022, that shouldn't detract from how great the Nintendo Switch is either. Over the past five years in the system's slowly aging hardware, the Nintendo Switch has built up a legendary library of solid third-party games, great indie support, and legendary first-party support. And when you factor in the strong game library, the system's main selling point, and how the overall system is being marketed, there's a reason why it surpassed 107 million units throughout the past five years. But if Nintendo keeps doing what they're doing with their five-year-old piece of plastic, how many more units could the Nintendo Switch sell when all is said and done? You know, that's a great question. Too bad the answer is something we're not going to get for a few more years, and this is just a topic I wanted to discuss because I was bored and needed something to talk about other than Nintendo Switch sports and topics I already covered. But with all that out of the way, let's discuss whether I think the Nintendo Switch will be the best-selling game console of all time. I forgot to mention that in the intro, didn't I? Come on, man, you're better than that. So a bit of info for all you knowledge knowers out there. The number one best-selling game console as of now is the PlayStation 2, the successor to the already successful first PlayStation, then followed by the Nintendo DS line of systems, then the Game Boy, the PlayStation 4, and then the Nintendo Switch. I'm going to give it to you straight. Even if the Nintendo Switch hasn't surpassed any of these systems just yet, still managing to make it in the top five for the best-selling consoles of all time is still an impressive feat. But considering how close it is to the PlayStation 4 and the Game Boy, sorta, of, I think there might just be a chance of it becoming the third best-selling game console of all time. So long as Nintendo keeps doing what they're doing with new game releases and their repertoire of big-name franchises, at least one more new revision, and continuing to be consistent with strong third-party support. Though I definitely think a Switch version of Wii Play would be pretty neat, though. Not trying to hint at something. But as I was saying, if Nintendo keeps doing what they're doing with the Switch, I definitely can see this thing outsell the next two consoles that are in front of it when all is said and done. Maybe clocking around the 120 to 140 million mark. That'd be pretty impressive. I mean, unlike the Wii, which was number 6 previously, because I totally didn't forget about the PlayStation 1, the Wii's momentum kind of slowed down in the latter bit of its lifespan. Like, 2011 had a few good games, same with 2012, but they never really reached the heights of the Wii's earlier years, like 20, 2007, 2008, and 2009. All of which were great years for Wii releases, but the last two years, not so much. I honestly think the slowly decreasing momentum in the Wii's last few years were the reason why the system didn't sell more. I mean, don't get me wrong, the Wii was still a great system that still sold tremendously well, and the Wii U... existed. It's a federal law to bring that up when talking about the Wii U, by the way. But I feel that if the Wii had more going on in 2011, and even 2012, it could have sold a few more million units. Now we're not really at the point now where the Switch's momentum is slowing down enough for it to impact sales, though as the years went on the hardware kept showing its age more and more, especially with the new system releases, and now while the system is still fantastic with amazing games all the way, I do think the hardware is getting to the point now where it is outdated. But with big first party releases like Kirby and the Forgotten Land, Nintendo Switch Sports, and Mario Strikers Battle League, that might keep Switch sales where they need to be. And I think those games might do the system some favors. As of March 2022, the Nintendo Switch has sold 107.65 million units. Though, again, with the release of Switch Sports and Mario Strikers after that, there may be a chance, just a chance, that that number could be way higher than we're all expecting it to be when Nintendo reveals the overall sales for the system for June 2022. I mean, that's what I'm saying. As long as the system continues to get quality... I said quality! and quantity games that gets people excited like the games I already mentioned, then again, I'm sure the system will still continue to sell like hotcakes. Mmm, still sounds delicious by the way. And I'm sure that by the time Nintendo's next system comes out, whether it's 2023 or 2024, 
The system may potentially range from the 120 million mark to maybe 140 million. I mean, there's still a long way to go if the Switch reaches that, let alone 120 million. But I do think there's a strong possibility of selling both the PS4 and the Game Boy, though. Now, whether I think it'll reach the DS and PS2 sales, eh, that's a tough argument to make. The Switch is still a top seller for Nintendo, but I'm not so sure if it's going to be that much of a top seller. If Nintendo is yearning for those numbers, then they better pull out all the stops for the Switch's last few years, and even saying that they can do it just by doing that might be a bit of a stretch. I don't really think the Switch will reach those numbers when all is said and done. I mean, I could be wrong, it probably could outsell the DS, the PS2, and may become the best-selling game console of all time. Again, this isn't something I know, just something I'm taking a wild guess at. So overall, while I think the Switch will sell really well when everything's all wrapped up in the end, I think it's important for Nintendo to just keep being consistent with game releases, giving players something new to enjoy, and throwing a new revision out despite putting out the OLED model not too long ago. But I digress. Will the Switch outsell the PS4? Will it outsell the DS or PlayStation 2? Will it become the best-selling console of all time? Will it become the best-selling electronic device of all time? Guess we'll just have to wait a few years to find out. I couldn't think of a good last question. But you know what? Even if it doesn't, the system is still selling incredibly. I mean, 107 million units throughout five or so years? That's still pretty awesome. I just think with the Switch still having a few years left of life in it, I just thought it'd be pretty interesting to discuss an ongoing topic like this. Also because I was bored. And that's going to wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed the video, then please consider subscribing and checking out my other videos on my channel where you'll find more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.